Well, here it is, day 14 of 44, and I can tell you this, I pulled around the corner this morning, I'm at Whiteface Mountain, and let me tell you what, this place is huge, and right now I'm actually going to get to ride with my friend Bridget Widget hey, there, What's up? and this is actually going to be my first ride in a gondola, so I am super stoked. <laughs> Oh, things up um, you, you can separate them, or actually here, we'll, here, we'll, we'll split them up. Just split them up like Sorry. Thank you. Okay, let's there you go, guys. Here I am, chit-chatting. Messing everything up. I know, it's crazy. Whew. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, this is it. This is cool. This is definitely is cool. Best. The gondola changed the mountain. It was like the single biggest most awesome improvement we've ever done. <laughs> yeah. And my first time in one and I'm just, uh, you know, this is this has got to be great especially on good cold days. Oh yeah, it's awesome. It's yeah. nice. And you get to visit with everybody. It's yeah. really awesome fun. Yeah. Makes it more social. All right. It is and you awesome. You do like the visit. I like to visit. It's my favorite part of skiing. Otherwise, you might as well just like stay inside and watch lifetime movies eat chips and popcorn or something. I don't know. How are you? Funny. I don't know. Well, here it is. We're taking off in the gondola, and this thing's pretty quick. I can tell you that already. And sitting next to me, this is Bridget. Bridget, how are you today? Bridget. Good, Jack. How are you doing? Good. Tell me about this place. It's enormous. <laughs> it's awesome. It's it's a huge mountain. It's the, We have the biggest vertical drop east of the Rockies. And we have the Clouds Footer Gondola, which is like the best. We put it in in 99, 2000 that winter. And it will take us to the summit of Little White Face, one of three peaks at the mountain. So you, there's actually three steps to get to the very top? Is that uh, how it works? Well, or? it's like the very top's in the middle. We have Little White Face, and then we have Big White Face, where um, the Olympic runs of the downhill originate from, uh, Skyward and Cloudspin. And then you go over to Lookout Mountain, which is our newest development we put in about four years ago, and that's our third peak now. And there's a two, over two mile long intermediate trail on the top of Lookout. It's awesome. Now, definitely, you know, when you think skiing in New York, the first thing that comes to mind is the name Whiteface. There's no doubt about it. Oh, sweet. Thank you. That's very kind. What is it that you think makes this an international destination for everybody? Is it just oh. the, the the height of the mountain, the vertical drop, the, or? Well, I think it's I think it's our, our heritage. We have awesome Olympic heritage to the mountain in the region, and I think that that's recognized um, throughout the world. And people who are Olympic buffs will come over here. And actually, this week we have World Cup freestyle, so it still remains international destination for competitors. We'll have teams from Japan, from uh, Germany, Austria. Um, Bulgaria. I mean, it's just awesome. Like, I, I'm just trying to name. They're from all over the world. It's really Australia even has a freestyle skiing team. It's cool, and they rock. It's good. Yeah. Good stuff. And of course, the U.S., which is good. Absolutely. So yeah, that'll be on Wilderness, and the competitions tomorrow, and then we have a nighttime event over at the ski jumps for aerials, which is Friday and Saturday night with fireworks. That's right. You you do have uh, the aerial stuff here. Yeah. Yeah. As yeah. Well. It's awesome. So yeah. So it's still international. It's still, and it's awesome. New York State. It's it's an awesome. It's the jewel of the state of New York, I would say. And actually, the area is absolutely beautiful. Actually, I was over <laughs> at the. Uh, I was over at Big Tupper yesterday, and I could I see Big you Tupper. from yeah. here. And and I'll tell you what, I just kept looking over, going, I can't wait yeah. to get here. I learned how to alpine ski at Big Tupper. That place is awesome. I'm so psyched they're back on back on. Yeah, they, yeah, it's it would good. be a good thing for them. Oh yeah, and it's good for us too because we have more neighbors and more skiing in the area than more people want to come out. So it's good. What's the longest run here? The longest, well, the longest single run is the Wilmington Trail, which is off of Lookout Mountain. It's 2.2 miles long. 2.2 yeah, miles. Yeah, and it's continuous. If you go from the top of the mountain all the way to the bottom, using many trails, it's 3.5 miles. And that's wow. snaking, you know, like, it, it definitely is, like, connecting a lot of trails and weaving your way to kids' campus, but it's, yeah, you can... Even 2.2 miles, that's probably more than a lot of people actually ski in yeah, a day. Yeah, yeah, our mountain's portrait, where many are um, more landscape, so we have longer runs, it's, you know, it's, it's not as sprawled out as a lot of other resorts, but it's... Now, if someone's never been here, yeah. I mean, besides the fact that you got the name and everybody knows it's an international destination, what's the best reason to come here? Oh, the people. The people are the best reason. It's, it's the Adirondacks. It's an awesome vibe. Um, 
And people are really proud of their Olympic heritage, same thing. And if you meet folks on the mountain that come here all the time, it's like really cool families hang out here. Like it's just people that are, um, I would say, just kind of like go get them and always like doing a new activity. I don't know, just achieving their personal best. I think that's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna take a peek out the sure. window here because that's really cool. I can tell you this for sure. I am absolutely stoked about coming to this place. I'm absolutely stoked about this gondola. Check this view out from down there. It is just absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's awesome. And you know what? You're you're the first person that actually that was in the marketing department that's come out to ski with me. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how I roll. Because we're Twitter friends. We're, we tweet. That's right. Right. We're on that's it. what we do. I was psyched when I was like, "What? I get a, I get to meet up with the one of my you know fun little internet buddies on uh, for ski the ski business." This is absolutely awesome. Here's the view. It's good stuff, right? And we still got a ways to go. Oh yeah. And it's a foggy day, so you can't. The top is socked in. You only saw half of the mountain when you came in. It goes on. And my heart was beating as soon as I pulled I in. I was like, it's crazy. Right? Actually, I come in and I says to myself, I says, I gotta have breakfast before I get started here. <laughs> yeah, right. It's definitely you have to have the breakfast of champions for sure for your day here. Because it's all about skiing and riding. Like it's not about just like. I mean, at the end of the day, you chill out and have fun. But everybody here, it's like, right? What do you say? Yeah. It's, it's not like where you like take one run and then look cool and sit down, no. right? This I would mountain, say. Uh, it's probably one of the finest mountains on the east. Oh, you're awesome. Because as soon as you get on the lift, you can ski to the other lift. There's no poling. There's no flat. Mm. Uh, for instance, the other day, I standing on top of Skyway, and I had to make the bank. And the bank closed at 4, and it was 25 after 3. No! The bank is 10 miles away. I was at the bank at 3 minutes to 4. No! From the top of Skyway to my locker, put my stuff away, <laughs> jumped on the shuttle bus, took me to my car, jumped in my car, called the bank, said, you can make it. <laughs> nice. Ten miles away, I was at the bank and made the bank before it closed. <laughs> I thought that was pretty incredible. That's the best story. Uh, Are you from the area here? Oh, I've lived here all my life. You lived here all your life, so yeah. you the place you ski pretty much for oh, quite a while then. forever. My family, brothers, fathers. Have you skied anywhere else besides my face? Oh, yeah. Been out west. Been to Vermont. Uh, I like Vermont, but it just doesn't have what this has got. Uh, we have some of the best snowmaking ground. It's yeah. incredible. You know, that's another because incredible thing. Because you look at here, and you look at everywhere else, this place has had snow for, God, I don't know. Yeah. We've yeah. been skiing. It hasn't been too bad. Either. And it's yeah, some right? of the best skiing around for what we're dealing with this year. It's got to be an amazing task to make snow at this mountain well, just because we've of the made absolute it, size of it. They've lost it. We've they made it. it. They've lost it. And we're still skiing. <laughs> <laughs> and we have no natural snow, really, to call for. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but these guys can found snow. The snowmakers are what make this mountain. I, <laughs> well, I can tell you one thing for sure. I can't wait to get out and start pounding some of this snow. This is crazy, and we're still just getting up there. Wow, we still got another summit to go there. Well, we've made it to the top, and this is where we're going to depart. And I'll tell you, very nice ride. Hey, enjoy, man. Guys. That was absolutely the best. Well, this is the top here, and boy, it's it's a little foggy up here. We're we're kind of above the clouds. We're in cloud number nine. Cloud number nine. And eleven. I'm I'm in I'm on cloud thirteen right now at least. <laughs>
That is absolutely It's just, like a natural little super G. I love that stuff. And, you know, we passed a lot of trails through there, too, yeah. that go off to different places. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a hoot. I like that one. It's really cool. It's a fun one. And it's midweek in particular. It's, like, amazing. Yeah, it's good stuff. You know, the cool part is, is we're not even to the bottom yet, and that's oh, no. about the longest run that I've had all year. Yeah, we're not even really midway yet, and we still have a lot to go. This right here is Lookout Below. That's part of Lookout Mountain. The trail, like the lift right there is Lookout Mountain. Lookout Below is one of the steepest trails besides Empire. It's wicked. It's all natural. We do have snowmaking on it, but um, no cats go on it to groom it out, and that trail is, when it opens, it is sick. It's an awesome spring trail for sure. So you'll see that one. Oh. So I'm riding the gondola with Katie here. Katie, you're a regular to Whiteface. You know, what is it that people should know about this place? They have fantastic snow right now. They've done an unbelievable job with their snowmaking. They have uh, great runs open at all levels. You can ski to the top of the mountain, you can ski at the bottom, and you're still going to find snow. I actually just took my first run, and, and I was whooped by the time I got to the <laughs> bottom already. <clears throat> so what is it that you think people that have never been here Give them a good reason to come here. I, I just think it's a very friendly mountain. I think you're going to find lots of people who want to help you if you haven't been here before. I think um, I think it's well marked. Uh, you can eat here. <laughs> um, I just think there's a lot of uh, options if you bring a family or a date or somebody who's unfamiliar with skiing. You've got difficult skiing, but they can accommodate you if you need to learn. Well, behind me right there, that's one of their jumps in their mogul course. And right up here... And, and it's still, they're still forming everything, you know, so it's still in the midst of being built. And you have uh, a World Cup coming World here? World Cup for this? freestyle, yeah. It's here yeah. every winter. It's awesome. It's like the best winter tradition. It's amazing. Between the moguls and the aerials, it's amazing. Great spectator events. And these athletes are astounding. That's just crazy stuff. And imagine the pitch. Like the pitch of this trail is wicked. Yeah, it is. I, mean, I think, I think, um, I think Skyward's going to end up doing better a little bit later today. Because he's coming in Well, here I am. I have absolutely made it to the top up here. And this is, as you can see, it's, uh, it's quite foggy and misty up here. Because, uh, actually the way it works is we're up in the clouds right now pretty much. The uh, elevation up here. Bridget, what is the elevation up here? Oh, 4667. 4667. Yeah, yeah I know. Welcome to the top of the world. At about, least coast. <laughs> about how long does it take to get to the bottom from here? Just say at a medium pace. At a medium, well, at a medium pace, it could probably take, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes, if you like hang out and have fun. Or you can do it like an Olympic downhiller, and it'll go much, much, much faster. <laughs> Well, I'm no Olympic down here, but I can tell you what, I am super stoked to be here and, and riding this. This is just crazy stuff. So tell me your name. I'm Jake Sporn. Jake, where'd you learn to do all that? Oh, just by friends and experience, just going out here every day, being at Whiteface, having great terrain. What's some of the favorite tricks you try and pull off? Ooh, I don't know. I like anything on rails. I mean, jumps kind of scare me, flying through the air, so I like to stay lower on the rails and just hop on, two out, four out, all the fun stuff. <laughs> tell me the most killer thing about Whiteface. It's always great snow. 
off season. There's no one here. You have a whole mountain to yourself almost, and it's just great. Well, check this out. They're out here and they're setting this course up for the World Cup. Well, I can tell you this for sure. The runs here are absolutely phenomenal and extremely long. I'm grabbing off a chairlift right now, but actually this is going to be my shortest run of the day right here because what I'm doing is I'm going to go to the next ski lift that's going to take me to the next elevation and to the top of Whiteface. That was a pretty short run to get from one lift to the other. Brantley. How you doing? Man, this is my first trip to this place here, Whiteface. It is absolutely incredible. Yeah, right. We're standing at the top right now. What's the coolest thing about this place? The vertical, man. Biggest in the East Coast. Everything you like, right? It, you, you got it. What's your favorite run here? This guy right here, Upper Skyward. Now, how do you manage to get through these trails? I mean, we're up top. You can't see 75 feet out in front of you. You just got to trust that it's there, man. Yeah. Nice. What about yourself? Tell me what you like the most about Whiteface. Uh, they got great park features. They do a lot of good work. And if talk about vertical, Upper Skyward's the greatest. Yeah, they got some really cool stuff. And the scenery is absolutely amazing here as well. Absolutely. How often do you get out to ski here? Uh, every other day. Really? <laughs> really. Yeah, so you're putting some time on that board, absolutely. aren't you? Absolutely. Yeah. Listen, if somebody's never been here, besides the vertical, give them a great reason to show up. Uh... They got really good, really good easy runs to really learn and figure out what the you're doing. The gondola's warm on cold days, too. Absolutely. Yeah, I like that gondola. It was my first day in a gondola. That was definitely some cool stuff. All right, guys, shred it up. Have a good time. Hey, man, have a good one. Well, the truth is I really didn't get to talk to all that many people today here. But you know what? This place is like Vegas. It doesn't matter what somebody tells you about Whiteface. This is definitely something you have to come and experience for yourself with super long, wide open trails and a variety of train that is just absolutely amazing. This is just one you're going to have to come and ski yourself. I'm going to spend the rest of the day skiing here because it's just absolutely awesome. Get here.